We back here at Ant Peaks and Uncle Junks. Every time I'm in Thompson, Georgia, and they're open, I try to stop to check them out. Not always to buy stuff, but to just look. They always got some neat stuff in their store. I just like to stop and check them out. Pretty cool. I never even noticed these. They got these rocks out here in color. all them spoons. It's a nice shape, too. I mean, it's had the... Uh, McKinley, you can look. Bill. Yeah, that's a real one. I'd like to have a stack of those. Yeah. That's a rare bill right there. 1934, $500 bill. $1,850. I don't know much about money, but I know that's a rare bill. I found some good deals in this store over the years, but... I didn't come here this today just to buy something. I wanted to come look. We were passing through, going out of town for a few days. and That's a blood wine from, I think, from Thompson, Georgia or Augusta, Georgia for $20. It was too much. And that is a soda water from Thompson, Georgia. I think they wanted 20 bucks for that also. Too high to make money on. but I always like to look. That amber jar is a snuff jar. Railroad Mills, snuff. A lot of this stuff was in here last time I was in here. But I always want to check. Oh, yeah. Right there's a nice piece of pottery. That crock right there is pretty. 195, 195 bucks. They got a bunch of neat furniture in here also, but I'm not much on furniture. I don't have the room to store it. We'll resell it. We're just going to take a quick look through here and just see what all they got. I thought that was a turpentine tar cut, but it's, it was new. Insulators, insulators and jars, and oil lamps. Some of this stuff could have been bought and resold probably, but I didn't take time to look up anything, check the prices. Most of the stuff in this store is just retail. You can't buy it and resell it. 
But every now and then you find something that you can make money on. I know I bought a bottle in this store one time for two dollars and sold it for a hundred and fifty. Old coins there in them frames. It's a nice old clock. If I was shopping for something to resell, I would have shopped a little slower. We just stopped to stretch our legs. And there's a thrift store right next to this store. That's where my wife and her friend and daughter went. Good old scales, razors, straight razors. I enjoy being around antiques. I'm not sure how many booths are in this antique mall. It's not real big. That's a nice lance rack. The rack with all the jars. Pretty nice. Nice sign. I think that's pretty rare. The gray Coca Cola. Six fifty. Pretty cool lifesavers, right? Nice piece of water. I've sold a lot of axes over the years. Twelve fifty for that. Both of them. There were three of them there. I think all of them were twelve fifty. Uh, they, they had names on them, but they were well worn. They were well used, pitted. So I didn't spend much time on them, but I have done very well on axes in the past.
for the porch sign there. Those bottles right there were all commemorative bottles. Some commemorative bottles bring pretty good money. I weren't familiar with those. I didn't even look them up. Another commemorative bottle. Everything in this case here is what high, high stuff, rare. Some of these Christmas trees with the bright lights on them. Georgia, twenty dollars. <clears throat> Somebody painted that piece of tin. Hundred and nine. 
We found this little shop in Clayton, Georgia. I've never been in here before. And after I went in, I found this, thought it was gonna be a real good place. This first booth had my kind of stuff in it. This old pottery, that's beautiful piece of pottery right there, but everything was outrageous in price. It's a nice stoneware. That blue stoneware was pretty, but it was real expensive also. This first booth was pretty cool. Figured I would add it in this at the end of this video. Some more pottery. Some of these pieces here were newer stuff, weren't that old. Still pretty. Old rooster there was pretty. person that had this first booth, they like pottery. I like that old drippy glaze, drippy glaze on that pottery. It looks good. That was a pretty crop. Nice basket there. All that was newer stuff. Those face jugs was all newer stuff. And that basket, I think it was like 200 bucks. That's that northern stoneware. Some of that stuff brings a bunch of money. Three hundred bucks for that piece. Right here was a bunch of these 
amber apothecary bottles. That was $65 a piece. They were high. There are some clear ones. I've sold a lot of these over the years. They bring good money, but you got to be able to buy them at a good price. They are pretty cool, and people collect them. That's all I have for you for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you in the next video.